Good morning, Weber's wonderful students. 6.3 or 6.7 volume. I can find the various parts of volume. Yes or no? Yes. All right, volume is the amount of. Oh, no, 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 no. I need everybody's eyes up here ready to go. You're wasting time right now. Volume is the amount of. And the label for volume is units. Units to the power of three, right? Yeah. Units cubed because when we're dealing with volume, we're figuring out how many cubes can go inside of a shape, right? Yeah. So that's why we have cube units. And that's why we also say 3D shapes have three dimensions. dimensions. So it all kind of goes together. I need eyes up here. Okay, I need eyes up here. Uh, all right, real quick, perimeter. How do you find the perimeter of any shape? Add them all up, right? Add up all the sides. How do you find the area of a square, a rectangle, and a parallelogram? Base times height. How do you find the area of a triangle? Base times height divided by two. And the last one, how do you find the volume of a 3D shape? Base times height. We'll try that one again. Base times height. Sweet. E -E. And here we go. There's all of your information. Length, width, height, volume, what all the letters mean. All right. What is this? on a 3D shape? Length. What is this on a 3D shape? Width. And what is this on a 3D shape? Uh, Which is going to be the same back there, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you, on a 3D shape, can you simply just count the number of um, cubes? Yeah. If they give you the number of cubes and you can count them, count them. It's going to be your volume, right? Yeah. You could also use the dimensions. So this shape is three wide. I'm sorry, three long, two wide, and two high, right? Yeah. So we could just use the dimensions to find. Does this shape give you cubes? Yeah. Does this shape give you cubes right there? No, there's no cubes. So do I need to use the dimensions? Yeah. So you just plug them in, seven times nine times three. Should you double check your work? Yeah. Probably a couple of times to make sure you don't hit the wrong number on a calculator if you're using a calculator. Okay, um, how about this one? I gave you, on this problem, I gave you the volume and I gave you the length, and I gave you the height, but I did not give you the width. What is the strategy we use to solve? Guess and check. We just guessed and checked. We pulled out our calculator, and we started typing in 12 times 6, and we started picking just random numbers. Not random numbers, some numbers based on an educated guess. And eventually we found that 12 times 6 times 8 gave us our volume, so we knew our missing dimension was that 8 centimeters, right? Yeah. Cool beans? Yeah. 